Your patients live in a new digital environment that has increased their exposure to harmful blue light. This is the high energy light waves found between 415 to 455 nanometers, also called blue-violet light. The need for protection from harmful blue light is apparent, and it's clear that all ophthalmic lenses should help filter out blue-violet light while ensuring beneficial blue-turquoise light reaches the retina during the day. Blue light is kind of divided into the safe, normal blue light that we need for our circadian sleep-wake cycle but there's also a range of blue light that is actually harmful and can penetrate through the front of your eye and into the back of the eye where you're in your retina. Also too much blue effect can also have an effect on the macula or the 20-20 the part of the retina. So that area is also under distress. So by eliminating that blue light, which is emitted from LEDs, from computers, from smartphones, from tablets, we can therefore minimize that harmful effect. It's been too short of a time since we've all been staring at these phones and tablets 24-7, so we just don't quite know the long-term ramifications, but the studies are there and we're just, we want to get ahead of it as opposed to react to it. I think I like the first one better. In developed countries, AMD is the leading cause of irreversible vision loss, with 17.8 million cases in the United States alone. When you start using words like blindness, you get people's attention. And so if you can kind of get them on board with that and educate them why that's important and that you're just trying to save their vision, people become more receptive to what you're saying. It's not you trying to sell them something, it's you trying to protect their eyes.